beautiful but a dealership's gonna close let's get into this one <laughs> Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah, I'm tied up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back, bed. I show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own So fight and fight Hello and welcome to Revelator Alpha. I hope you're all well. So uh, this video is about the, the thought that all dealerships could close in the future and that you and I, if you wanted to buy a new car or a new motorcycle, you'd be going direct to the manufacturer. Hmm, right. Now, could this relate to Harley Davidson or motorcycle manufacturers? Well, yes, it could. Uh, there's always been this thing where people feel that they're being ripped off at dealerships, poor dealerships, bad dealerships, uh, or they're paying way over the price, uh, way over the, the, the recommended retail price. And over the last year or so, something like that, especially in the United States, there has been a lot of chatter, a lot of uh, content made, lots of videos made. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description of one of these videos that has been released recently about manufacturers uh, kind of getting disillusioned or fed up with the way dealerships have been operating, how independent they are, and how they're kind of going against or breaking the rules of uh, the manufacturer, as it were. Now, us who ride motorcycles, especially Harley Davidson's, and if you watch my uh, channel as well, you kind of know that I kind of poke fun uh, or, you know, poke the bear a little bit of, uh, especially Harley Davidson as well. But in this case, you wonder who is right, let's say, in the case of Harley Davidson, you know, or it could be Yamaha, it could be Indian. You know, is it the manufacturer that is kind of what you perceive as ripping you off, or is it the dealership who is ripping you off? And I think it really depends on which country you live in. Okay, so let's just say here in the UK and around Europe and many other parts of the world. Now you go online, you go to the Harley Davidson website and you look at your bike that you want to buy and it'll give you the price. So you go into the dealership, if you can find one nearby, and that bike will be no more expensive for a base bike this is stock bike okay for a base model whatever it is it will be no more expensive than what is written on that website in other words that is the maximum ceiling it can be without any additional extras on it and this seems to be replicated in most countries around the world apart from in the United States. The United States where the dealerships will take a, a base model bike and they may add on extras onto just the base price. This is regardless of any extras that you wanna pay. Now this could be motorcycles, this could be cars, this could be anything. Now there's always been complaints from Harley Davidson riders uh, because most of the content that I make these days is about Harley Davidson's of course. You know, lots of comments from Harley Davidson riders, especially in the United States, where we're not really affected by this over here, but in, in the United States they'll say, well you go to a dealership and then you look at a, a particular bike and then they want an extra four or five thousand dollars on it. It could be even more. So there, there is this problem, not only within Harley Davidson, but amongst all dealerships in the United States. However, one particular car manufacturer has had enough of this. 
So over the last year or so, lots of content has been made about Ford Motor Company and their CEO is basically fed up of the way dealerships have been uh, operating. And I say, I'll leave a link in the description below of a particular video, but there's lots of videos out there, lots of content, lots of blog posts about this. And basically what they're saying, especially on some EV vehicles or in uh, pickup trucks as well, certain dealerships have been making a horrendous markup in some cases, I believe, they were charging an extra $50,000 for a pickup. I mean, it's just crazy. Now, I know in the United States that truck prices have gone through the roof, and possibly this is the reason why. There's also a problem with the supply chain issues that's affecting the whole manufacturing industry, automotive electronics as well. That's hiked the prices as well. But there's no doubt that the manufacturers are having a bit of an issue here with their dealerships. And I'm just wondering, does Harley Davidson and any other motorcycle manufacturer have an issue like this? And would they change their, their selling model so that you can buy direct from them? And I think Harley Davidson have already done it. You see, in the United States in particular, uh, if you open up a dealership under a franchise agreement, there are state laws that protect you from the manufacturer coming in and basically open up another dealership and running you out of business, okay? So there's lots of laws, lots of red tape. That's why they can't get rid of the dealerships. However, Tesla, when they started open up, they got around this law by saying, actually, we're not having dealerships. We might have kind of showrooms or kiosks or galleries, I think they call them, where you can look look at the cars you can look at the information and everything but you can't actually buy it from there harley davidson i think have done a similar kind of thing now with the live wire and the del mar in that you don't necessarily have to go to a dealership you can buy it direct from the live wire company and possibly this is a model that they, Harley Davidson, would be looking at in the future and also other motorcycle manufacturers. And guess what? Actually, many other motorcycle manufacturers already do this. Granted, not the mainstream ones, a lot of the smaller ones, but they already do it. You just go to their website, you register an interest and you can buy direct from them, especially if they're a new company or if they haven't established a dealership network. Then you're going to have to arrange, you know, how you get your bike serviced and everything like that. So the logistics of getting the bike to you and then taking it back to a service center, you know, that's all going to be part of the headache, as it were. But other manufacturers are doing it. And you just wonder, well, how long will dealerships last in the new world order of buying everything online? So I have been accused in the past of, you know, just making videos. You know, it's not a revelation. It's not a revelator alpha, you know, thing. It's more speculation. And look, I take that on the chin, actually. Because, yeah, I am revealing information, which I think is information, uh, or, or suggestions or rumours. But I think in this case, it's less about speculation and more about actually... Other manufacturers have, have really looked into this and they're not happy with it. And you wonder, and you wonder, are Harley Davidson doing exactly the same thing? Or maybe they're going to say, we're going to look at the good dealerships and we're going to promote those. And those bad dealerships who we found to be, you know, going against our policies, we're going to stop delivering stock to them. And that's essentially what Ford have been doing to a lot of their bad dealerships as well. They've been threatening them with, you know, you're not going to get any stock from us. So if Ford have started to change their business model with selling, especially in the United States, and I think they've changed it for the EV models as well now, um, Harley-Davidson, I think, maybe are doing that with the live wire. Other manufacturers might be doing it already as well. Is this the future? Is this the way it's going to be? Is this the way that maybe different countries will have a, a duplex system? You can either buy at a dealership or you can buy it online. You can get the personal touch with service in a dealership or you just go online and get it remotely. I think it's going to be really interesting to find out, you know, how this goes, especially in the, in the car world. Because if they, I think if it happens in the car world, then I think motorcycle world tends to follow suit in, in certain regards. Not always, but in, in this kind of world, uh, 
way it certainly might uh, copy and I think certainly like a Harley Davidson type company an American type company they kind of do mirror a lot of what other mainstream American manufacturers have been doing over the last you know 30 or 40 years as well and I think maybe they they're kind of looking at this as well maybe I don't know yes maybe it is speculation you know i hold my hand up i don't have an issue with that and yes it could be revealing something that you hadn't even thought about before but let us know your thoughts on this let us know you know if the dealerships are indeed here for the long haul or are their days numbered is it going to be a case that the good dealerships will survive and basically the bad dealerships will disappear if there are such things but you know what i mean let us know in the comments below, but are dealerships here to stay or are they for the chopping block? I don't know, but I certainly feel that the market is changing and the future will be that you'll be able to buy your products, your motorcycles, your cars from lots of different places, whether it's from the manufacturer direct, whether it's from a dealership, whether it's from an online warehouse. I think that's the way it's going to go we're going to go more to a remote buying uh, kind of situation where that's the price it's non-negotiable you know what you're paying you don't have to haggle and that's what it is now obviously it depends which country you're in and what the culture is and what the laws are going to be as well but i wouldn't be surprised if we go to more of that kind of system especially away from a system where lots of people may feel they're being ripped off with um, you know how much they're being asked to pay or uh, or they're just not really satisfied with the buying experience but let us know your thoughts in the comments below but look all i can say is don't forget to subscribe hit that bell like and share check out the website revelatealf.com right down the road i go ta-da